Hello everybody, Russian Batman back with another video. Today we have a Monkey Kid video. Yes, uh, these are characters from the show Monkey Kid. And also we got some custom minifigures that use Monkey Kid parts. Parts from uh, that, I don't know if they're exactly exclusive from Monkey Kid, but the, the reason I'm including that is because I, uh, when making, because I usually kind of make a whole bunch of figures in batches, because, you know, there are certain times when I can't make figures. But when I make them in batches, I just make a whole bunch. And I think, okay, well, what showcases can I show these in? And how should I show these? Should I show these in single figure sh showcases? Should I show these in whatever? Where I was making a whole bunch. I'm like, hey, they're all Monkey Kid characters, except for two figures. They weren't Monkey Kid characters, but they used Monkey Kid parts. And I didn't want to put them in a single figure showcase because they were kind of related. You'll see what I get to in a bit. But I also didn't want to make a video with two figures, so maybe, maybe I'll do like a double figure showcase sometime in the future. Who who knows? Let me turn it on. Oh, I always forget to turn that light on. Thank God I turned it on before I started showing the figures. But uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's just get on to. And also, I know Forsaken. If you if you're watching the video Forsaken, thank you, by the way. And I know Forsaken would love this video because he's a big Monkey Kid uh, nerd. He, uh, he actually uh, showed me the... Uh, I finished the first season of it. I haven't seen the second season. And I, I'm like 99% sure it's still not officially released in the United States. So if you do see it, like I said, it's um it's it's kind of hard to, you know, find it. But, yeah, unless you live in, like, you know, communist land, a.k.a. China. But, uh, yeah, let's just uh, show off. The first one I made is uh, you got... Uh, some I sent this Discord. People called it Drip Monkey Kid, but uh, this is a Monkey Kid clone. Um, it's a clone of Monkey Kid, using his hair. Uh, he doesn't technically have this staff, but I just kind of gave him the staff. You know, I'll just take it out of the way just for uh, consistency. Also, hold up. So I want to show you that I thought was really funny with the staff. Uh, where did that piece go? No, don't tell me I lost the piece. You know, I'll find it. You know, eventually, maybe middle of the showcase let me only find it but there's a interesting thing you do with the staff i'll show that off in just a second but uh here we have just kind of people call it drip monkey kid but this is monkey kid it's a clone of monkey kid in his kind of dj attire uh because basically monkey kid he rips out his hair and he can make a clone of himself by like blowing on it and so he makes a whole bunch of clones because He's tired of doing everything, so he has some clones to do stuff for him, so he can just, you know, take a day off and kind of relax, and he kind of does it too much, where the clones kind of, you know, kind of gabra him at the end. So, uh, yeah, so this is the clone of um, Monkey Kid in his attire. He does not have his uh, signature kind of Monkey Kid jacket on, but he doesn't also, he also, in, he doesn't have this weird shirt with the circle underneath. He's just a normal plain white shirt. Those dual molded white arms, they're not the Simpsons ones, I actually had paint white on there. Um, you got the, the monkey kid pants just without the key keychain detail, because if you look at the actual monkey kid, uh, figures versus wh how they look like in the show, you you'll notice that in the show they're actually a lot less detailed than the main figures, which makes sense because when you're obviously making an animated show, you know the best character designs are the simplest, so they're easiest to animate. And, you know, that, you know, people don't get kind of lost in the character. But when you're making an actual minifigure, it sense why you make it super detailed is so, you know, I mean, it's a detailed minifigure. You, why wouldn't you want that? You know? But animated show makes sense. So I kind of simplified it. Uh, he does not have the symbol on the banana. Bandana, you can see there. Uh, he did, but I just kind of erased it off um, just to make it more accurate. He has those sunglasses on, the uh, pink sunglasses. Uh, he obviously has that the new headphone piece and also this cape uh, it kind of looks bad maybe I should touch it up but you got the kind of leopard skin uh, uh, leopard skin uh, or leopard fur kind of cape right there so pour that off to the side for now uh, let's show what should I show off next I kind of no, I want to show that off, off later uh, here we got General Ironclad. Hold up. Uh, the only, I think, bull clone to have any sort of prevalence in the show at all. I mean, he's really... I don't even, I don't even think he's named in the show. I mean, they really uh, 
don't care about the the bull clones. They're just disposable. That's I mean, they come in every set. They're named in every set. But I guarantee you, I don't think they name any of the bulls once during the show. So if you think, well, because the bulls have names and one of them has a crooked horn, well, maybe they have personalities. No, that that's that that is completely wrong. They are completely just blank slates. Except for Ironclad, he's kind of, but still, they're. I feel like they could have done more with the bull clones. Maybe they do in season two. At least in season one, like I said, they're just kind of, they're army building, even though in the sets they give him explicit names. And even the one with a crooked horn, I mean, that's that's all he is. He just has a crooked horn. He doesn't, none of them speak, which is a bit, kind of a gripe with the show. None of them really do anything. And, um, but yeah, no, uh, General Ironclad, he is relevant because he does, um, steal, he just tries to steal May's sword, which I made a really inaccurate version of. Um, I know it's the official Lego version, it's a dragon blade, but I thought this looked cool, even though it looks nothing like the blade, it's just some Ninjago pieces and a white hilt, I thought it would look cool, just to give him, but it's it's completely inaccurate, and yes, and, it, 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 and even if you look at the show, like you tell those are actual Lego pieces, so there's a, there's a correct way to make it, and this is not it, but I thought it looked cool, you know, kind of, it's a cool blade. Um, so some other things I did with this figure. Is it's mostly just a modification of the Ironclad because he does come in one set, which is the um, Monkey Kid uh, Mech set. This is the set I got him in, and uh, yeah, so I made some mo uh, modifications. I took away this small cape because in the actual episode I'm referencing, it's the episode obviously, like I said, when he steals uh, May's Dragon Blade and his cape. He has a, a, a larger cape, so I gave him an extra. It's not that big. It's kind of goofy looking. It was actually a mini doll cape. I'll show you how I made that in just a sec. But a mini doll cape that had to um, make it fit on a minifigure by cutting it up and puncturing some holes in it. Which was uh, pretty fun. Uh, so you can see there, I also I did some painting where you can see little bits of the cape kind of going up and being held down by a button. That was an actual thing. Um, I wanted to give him like uh, one of these Chinese whatever you call it, hats, but it doesn't really, it doesn't fit with the horns, so either way you slice it, it doesn't really work, and it's also, he doesn't have a silver one, he has a kind of a normal straw hat, what else about him, uh, I made his brow a more of a silvery color, just to kind of differentiate it a little bit, um, and like I said, Ironclad is unique because he's the only one with, uh, gunmetal arms and, uh, the silver horns, which pretty epic i gotta say so myself i don't know if ironclad dies in season one i mean he definitely gets defeated but he's not none of the bull i wish the bull clones had more personality i mean i know they're just they're supposed to be clones right but i mean the lego sets give him explicit names so i do wish they did something but uh also you can see um another unique thing is i gave him actual eyes um the Lego ones use these like transparent um, headpieces, which if you look on the box art, it looks accurate. But if you look in the actual show, they don't have like, it's not one big kind of visor. You can see it underneath the helmet. They do have individual eyes, but they just don't do it like that for some reason. And I, I feel like the transparent head doesn't look good at all, in my opinion, because the transparent head, it ends up just looking like this. It's just really dark inside the helmet. It looks like it doesn't look like this orange, right? It just looks like it ends up looking just um I don't know, like like if there was a black head inside, right? Where it's just completely dark and you can't really see anything. And I wish I had the head so I could show you, but you've probably seen it before if you've seen any Monkey Kid sets or Monkey Kid reviews. It doesn't look good at all. So like I said, I just did really simple, right? Uh, a black head. Because, you know, you can't really, it transparent doesn't work because you, you see in there, it's already, already dark. And then just the two orange eyes. I mean, even though it would be better than just the, you know, the transparent orange. If they just did a normal orange head, if they really didn't want to do these eyes for some reason. Which would be really easy to do. They do eyes like this for the Batman and other figures. I wish they would do that for the bull clones because it's more accurate to the show. Now, I get maybe when they made these sets, it was when the show was in like kind of early development. So the character designs are a little bit different because i didn't notice the character designs on the box art is slightly different than it is on in the show 
So you can tell there is a slight difference between the actual, you know, sets and the shell, and that might have to do with just, you know, the production. Because even it's in the art style, but it's still slightly different from the actual shell. And then, yeah, that's mostly it for General Iron Clad. I'm gonna call it General Iron Chad because he's a cool bull clone. Uh, I like him, but you know he doesn't have a character at all, which I wish they did do that. Do that for the bull clones. But uh, yeah, for some reason, oh, I, just, I really like how that the paint job for that little cape coming up came out. I, I like how that looks. I like how that looks. Okay. Um, some other ones here. Last, uh, this is the, actually, I really only have three Monkey Kid, uh, characters that are actually in the show. The last, uh, there's one after this that's still Monkey Kid, and then two after that aren't Monkey Kid, but use Monkey Kid parts. This one is Pigsy. I really like how this custom Pigsy turned out. I'm really proud of this one. Um, he, he is, obviously, it's not the, because they, they're, obviously, there is a pixie figure, right? I just took it and modified it to make it way more accurate to the show. And I think it turned out he has the rolled up sleeves, which you can see there. Rolled up sleeves. He actually has face print. Uh, for some reason, the Lego version, he has no mouth and he just has eyes. So it's just, so it's just like, yeah, like that. I don't, I don't know why they didn't give him mouth. It doesn't make sense. Considering he's like the loudest character in the show and likes to talk the most. I don't know why they wouldn't give him a mouth. It's like when they didn't it's like um when they didn't give Deadpool a mouth in that one X Men film and he couldn't talk even though he's the merc with the mouth. You know, same deal here. They didn't give him a mouth for some reason. Legs I painted on uh on his short legs. I painted on his shoes and I painted on that little um chef's apron thing, whatever you would like to call it. Little chef uh, crotch cover. I don't know what it's called. And uh, yeah, you can see, like I said, rolled up sleeves. I thought that turned out good. Also, another thing I really liked about this one is how I, how the hat came out. This hat is not the original hat. Here, Here's the uh, original hat it came with, which doesn't look accurate at all. Like If you look at the show, his hat is not like a perfect chef's hat. It's drooping. And it does not look like this at all. So I got this. Um, so I, I made this custom piece where you got this kind of drooping uh, kind of chef's hat that's not straight up. And I like how that turns out. It's w way more accurate to the show. If you just look at it compared to whatever this was supposed to be, uh, it's, it's just it's night and day. So, yeah, I'm really proud of this figure. I think that this the original figure is inherently flawed. But, you know, it is good, but it could be better. So, yeah, that's Pigsy. All right. Uh, now on to the last Monkey Kid related character. Um, this one was kind of just a bit of a just interpretation. Not interpretation, but kind of a made up character. Uh, here's Monkey Kid if he was a Star Wars character. So you got kind of like a pop cross thing going on where I just take a take character and combine them into a different universe. Um, so the reason I made this is one because everyone you know talk about this new lightsaber hilt, even though it's not used for lightsaber and they haven't used it in Star Wars yet. Who knows if they will? It'd be really funny if they didn't use it because uh, you know as soon as this came out, all the Star Lego Star Wars nerds were you know just losing their crap about it, and it was really funny. Uh, but you know, it would be like I said, it would be really funny if they never used it for Star Wars and it was just exclusive to Monkey Kid, and then you know, Star Wars nerds just lost their stuff about it. But yeah, that would just be funny because you know, I'm a bit cynical towards Star Wars. I see here he has the Monkey Kid, uh, actually, the Monkey King, uh, neck uh, piece shoulder pads, but it's kind of put backwards. So you could fit those uh, the you know monkey kid headsets in there, uh, normal hair piece, normal head piece. Uh, the torso is just a this is a purist custom by the way. So uh, night bricks, uh, you're you're welcome to make this. So yeah, you're welcome, night bricks. I'm I'm just I'm such a generous guy. I know, I know. Um, but you see here you have the arms are from the alien cmf gave him orange arms because uh, to kind of match the orange it's not the same orange but kind of get the point 
and then also the the legs are from monkey king so monkey king uh a lot of monkey king parts also you might notice the the hilt is a bit faded it's a bit of a here actually no i have a better example to show you let me get, oh yeah, look also another thing about the monkey king um uh this lightsaber piece is here look look at this right look at that nice shiny gold you think it looks cool right hmm? you think it looks cool well, look what happens to it after a while. It turns into that. This, like I said, this is a new piece. This is an old piece. And, I mean, the theme hasn't been around for that long. And look at look at the deterioration. You can just see the um, original color. Just, you can tell it's just not... Yeah, that's, that's, that's worrying to me. I mean, the fact that it wore out... And no one else is mentioning this. This is really weird. I'm the only one who like has this or that I've seen have this where it just it wears out like so badly. That's just that's that's not good. Like that's not good. I don't like that. And you see that one's even worn out a little bit too, because they're part of the same piece. But yeah, like I said, this is from the um uh Monkey Kid Mexic that I got a while back, and this is from the newer set. Um so maybe in the future they'll like fix this problem where they um, I may figure out a way to actually give it instead of like painting or giving it, I don't know what they did, like give it a coat of something. Cause you can tell it's like chipping off and, or fading off. Cause it wouldn't do that if it was actual, the whole thing was gold. Maybe they just can't do that. Who knows? That's just a little uh, gripe. Let's get on to the actual figure. Um, so I imagine this guy, maybe he's just in this, now I imagine this is kind of blade. So he has this monkey kid, uh, lightsaber. Where it's red on both end. I don't imagine him being a Sith Lord, but you know this is a cool idea, and maybe this is like an in, it infinitely grows. So it's kind of like the Monkey Kid staff, but it's just a lightsaber. So it's an infinitely growing lightsaber that he gains from uh, the Monkey ki uh, King. And uh, yeah, no, I really like how this turned out. It's a really cool, neat idea. Just thinking about, well, what if the characters were in a Star Wars world? Like, would any of them be a Mandalorian? I'm trying to think. Uh, maybe, like, May, because she has a helmet. But other than that, no, I don't think anyone would be a Mandalorian in the universe. Maybe, maybe like, Pigsy would, you know, because he's constant. Or maybe... I don't know. Who knows? But, yeah, there's uh, this Star Wars uh, Monkey Kid. On to these next figures that use Monkey Kid parts, but are Marvel figures. So, um... And I neglected to mention that before, but these are all Marvel figures, all these two figures. First up, we're going to do the shortest one. This is, um, Hit Monkey. I wanted to make a figure of this because just, you know, it's Hit Monkey. It's an assassin monkey. These are based off those monkeys that, like, chill in, like, those hot tubs. Um, if you don't know, this is an actual comic book character, Marvel character. It's, it's an assassin that's a monkey. It's pretty self-explanatory. He has the monkey kid. Uh, tail, Monkey King tail, and Monkey King head, just in white and pink, and pink ears, pink face. He it does have the glasses, cause it it's easier to do that, cause then you don't have to paint on the eyes. Uh, kind of got the pink fingers, and then yeah, gun. So pretty simple figure. I like how this one turned out. And uh, yeah. So last but certainly not least, I assure you that. Yeah, this one was actually a uh, big shout out to, uh, not Lego Man 7, yeah, sorry, Lego Man 7, yeah, he made this, what am I talking about? Lego Man 7 made this really great, um, he kind of, it kind of inspired me to make this, is, I think it was on the, one of the Discord servers, he made a, he made a whole bunch of Marvel figures, and one of them he made is a version of uh, Mistro, or I think I pronounced it right, it's Maestro, and I'm, I think it's Maestro. Which is an alternate reality version of Hulk that, um, you know, is it's an alternate reality version of Hulk that kind of just takes over the world, kind of. It's like after, like, a nuclear apocalypse, right? He kind of, like, becomes, like, a major king or something. And because he, he, after, sorry, not, it's a nuclear war, and he becomes really powerful because of the nuclear war and, like, all the nuclear radiation and be, makes him, like, super buff. So it's a so he basically kind of takes over and be okay. Hold up, sorry, I'm dropping this piece all over the place. So he made that, 
And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then I did some research about the character, and I wanted to make my own. And he used um, the the uh, Sandy piece, which I'm thinking like, bro, that's literally a perfect fit. Like, it has the beads that Mich- uh, Maestro has, and it has the beard that Maestro has. The only thing that's inaccurate is the uh, mohawk. And also, I wanted to make my own as well because I kind of just, you know, kind of con- some constructive constructive criticism here. I kind of thought that Lego Man 7 version was a little bit inaccurate to the actual character. Uh, Lego Man 7's version, I'll show it up on screen. It's an amazing, um, uh, you know, 3D, you know, custom uh, minifigure. Not really custom, but digital minifigure. I think it's great. But the only thing is that he does, um, he gives him black hair. And he also um, gives him hair on the top of his head, right? Which were two things that I was thinking that, um, okay, like, um, he doesn't have black hair. Every depiction I found, he's always had gray or white hair. So that was something. And also every depiction I found is that he was bald. And now I get that with the program, it's probably harder to... Now, he does have long hair on the back of his head, but on top of his head, he's bald. So that was slightly inaccurate, but I get kind of why he did that because it was, I feel like it'd be harder to actually get rid of hair than it would be to add hair, like get rid of the mohawk. So, uh, yeah, but without further ado, let me show off, uh, this monkey kid sack. It's pretty cool. You can like, it, it uses the sausage piece. It makes it look bendy. Um, no, sorry. I'm here to show off Mistro, uh, my sh- Mistro, Mickey Mouse. Woo! Uh, let's give him the. Mistro, look at this bad boy. I really like how this turned out. And uh yeah, so you can tell it's very yeah, like I said, it's very inspired by Lego Man 7's design. So like I said, I'm not this isn't a hundred percent original because uh if it weren't for him I wouldn't actually I think it was I got the Sandy uh boat set because I wanted to make a a maestro and uh it would give me that sandy piece. So I do use a slightly uh a more well, out greener green um than Lego Man Seven. It's the brighter kind of green color, not the dull green. I'm um, not dull in the bad way. Dull as in you know it's kind of like it's more realistic, which what I feel like fits better for the character. Also, I just kind of gave him this the shield. But look at the actual figure. He um like I said he has the the beads. All the beads are like I said gold now, and he has uh brown pants. I think Lego Man 7 gave him blue pants, which I think he does have blue, but it changes. There's a lot of different versions of him. There's like a version of him where he has like full clothes. There's a version where he's just shirtless. It's, it really changes. The only really consistent thing is that he's he has uh, the gray, white beard, and the, um, uh, the beads. So I gave him some gauntlets here. Um, just painted around in gold. Got, oh, I should really come up with a, a better way to dis- to show off big fits um actually no he stands like that but he's gonna fall i'll try my best not to let him fall so you see there um he also another interesting thing is so I, most of the molding i didn't really have to mold too much i just had to chop the mohawk off and i molded a little bit on the head um i molded a little bit onto the actual beard because once i painted the beard. I realized the beard looked too smooth, right? It didn't really look like a rough kind of beard, you know, individual hair strand look. So I kind of did that to make it look a little bit more like hair. You can see the mustache is still mostly the same, but uh, yeah. So if we get better lighting there, wait a minute, how's he? He was like sticking on for a second. I don't know how. Um, but yeah, I did mold his uh, brow because he has a really big brow. So I wanted to do that. Uh, go around, you can see more kind of make it look like hair. Also, he has hair on the back of his head. Oh, it kind of looks a bit detached from the rest of the hair, not going to lie. I feel like I could have done that a bit better. But he does have um yeah hair on the back of his head, which the original figure did not. Uh, you can see he also did some light, see, light green uh, dry brushing. Did some a lot of dry brushing on this. Just, you know, kind of. For fun and to make it look more detailed so it is a base of gray and like i said i dry brushed the white to kind of make it just pop a little bit more i really like how that turned out let's get a close look at that face i like i like how that face it looks nice and aggressive in my opinion and uh 
yeah, I mean, it's mostly it with the figure. Oh, the pants. Um, I feel like it would have been better if I molded on, like, some boots. But instead, he has these kind of uh, just casual pants, which I, it, I feel like it would have been better if they weren't as casual looking. I did paint on some detail on the shoes to kind of give it, I don't know, more detail. But, yeah, so that's really it for Mistro. Um, he's probably my favorite out of all of these because I, I just really like how he kind of came out and really badass looking. It's another cool Marvel figure. Because I was thinking, of, like I said, I was thinking of making a Marvel showcase, but I only had two figures that were made. And they were both had monkey kid parts. So I thought maybe, you know, might as well just bunch them up into one video. So, oh, yeah, that's basically it. If you liked the video, uh, as you know, leave it a like. And uh, you should go check out Monkey Kid. It's a great, it's a pretty good show if you have access to it. If you, you can find it, I, I know that it's kind of hard to find. Or maybe just, you know, pray to the, uh, pray to Xi Jinping that it'll come out in in the states eventually or wherever you you wherever you may live. Hope it comes out on maybe Netflix or something. You should really put it on Netflix or something. Also, do they have? Uh, the Team and T show, the new one that was made by the same studio. Is that on Netflix? I don't know. I want to watch that. That that looks good. Um, but yeah, definitely. Uh, Misho's kind of hiding all the characters, but yeah, go check that out. And um, also, you know, go check out Rango and just have a lovely day. You know, and ciao.